this fly tying video. Today we're tying a glass caddis pupa. The hook I'm using is the living larva hook from filling mill and the thread I'm using is the uni a dot in tan and we'll start by putting down a layer of thread to the bend of the hook or the barb so once we at the barb, just cut it off, and now we're going to tie in the body material. And this is the material that has given the fly its name. This is called body glass, and it's <coughs> shaped like this round on one side and flat on the other. So we're just going to tighten the length of the body and now you want to keep this on top of the hook to have it symmetrical at the end. Now don't be afraid to use some thread to secure this, you don't want it to pull out and also you can use some thread because this fly is going to get, go down deep in the water and as we haven't used any lead foil you can use some thread to have it down and now as I said this has a flat part and a round so you want to keep the flat part on the hook and now for the first turn we're going to tighten it down a lot and then as we go up with touching turns just release the pressure a little to make it slightly bigger for each turn and now when we come up we're going to tight down so just tight down on the top of the hook and now it seems a little bulky here but we're going to cover it up with some dubbing and then some partridge so it's going to look just fine so now that we have the body tied in. I'm going to color it in brown and I use a brown marker. Just color the top and then wipe off the excess. So there we have the body. Now for the dubbing I use some hard dubbing. This is in color March Brown. And to tie this in, I use the dubbing loop technique or the split thread rather. So you just turn your bobbing counterclockwise till your thread is flattened, and then using a needle, you split it. And there we have our dubbing loop. I'm going to take some hard dubbing and just in small amounts you put it between the threads and keeping it quite sparse that's enough and now you close your thread and spin it back clockwise to trap all the fibers and why I do this this way instead of just dubbing it on normal way is the fly would have much longer fibers sticking at the back and this will look 
like some wing buds or this will even trap air bubbles once it's in the water so this is going to look like a caddis that's going to hatch and now just touching turns you bring your thread up to the eye and pulling back the fibers as you go now you can brush out the fibers the dubbing a little making it a little sparser or just to get the shape so, and now the last thing to tie in is some English partridge for the legs so this I have chosen a feather with the right length on the fibers and I just pull back all the fibers that I will use so now you have a tying point and tie it in just behind the eye cut off the excess and now with you pull back the fibers and two to turn three turns is enough so one turn in front of the other pulling back the fibers and that's enough so now you tie it off then cut off the stem now pull back all the fibers and make a small head and then the last thing to do is to whip finish three times and then we can brush in the fibers with the dubbing and if you want to you can color the head in dark brown to match the body just on the top and then some varnish to finish off this will just make the fly a little more durable and it's nice when the fly lasts a little longer just some varnish all around the head and there's a glass caddis pupil.